Hello, chaps, and welcome to my Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke Challenge, in which future shitty Pokemon Gym Leader Koga, winning traders green. Yo, champ in the making, future city is riddled with visible walls. Koga might appear close, but it's blocked off. You have to find gaps in the walls to reach him. Yes, we will. If you haven't already noticed, well, I, you should. I have a new layout here. I feel like it's... Uh, the other things were a bit unneeded. Strength isn't the key for Pokemon. It's strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. That is true. I, I agree with that. Except for it's kind of not true in Pokemon if you... Um... Okay, that was weird. Um... Yeah, you seem to be a bit confused on that notion. It, technically, yes, if you have a good strategy, you can win, but at the end of the day, if you do the most amounts of damage, you win. Just saying. Ooh, headbutt. It's level 38, too. I better not mess around with this. <laughs> I say as I confuse it again. Anyway, I really like this new land. I feel like it's a bunch, lot simpler, and I feel like it gets more to the point of, um, a crit hit. Woo! Level 36! It's more to the point of, what? Extraordinary! So you mix brawn with brains? Good strategy. It's simpler, and simpler is better. I can kind of see that. Well, I don't know if that's intentional. That's probably intentional. I wanted to become a ninja, so I joined this gym. And what are you now? A juggler. Drowsy. You know, see, this is kind of interesting. They're using psychic types in a poison type gym. Probably because it's more of a ninja gym, but I kind of wish that in later generations they would do more themes, like do a themed gym, and not so much based off a of monotype. I mean, maybe having a monotype gym a leader is alright, but I feel like the people in the gym can use other types. Just saying. There's also the fact that I feel like in later generations, gym leaders weren't as threatening, and they kind of became a lot easier. And I don't know how to feel about that, it's just... Kind of hoping with, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon that they become... Hykadabra, um, significant threats again. Kadabra is confused, it hurts self in the confusion. Even though it is interesting that... What did that say? I couldn't see the text. Uh-oh. No, not the flamethrower. Anyway, it is interesting how many uh, psychic types are used in this gym. And I wonder how different it's going to be from the actual psychic type gym when which we get there. Feels so long ago since... It must have been at least five or six episodes. I forgot. I don't know how long it's been since we got our last gym badge. Uh, we should probably heal up. I did go and buy a lot of lemonade. Sweet, sweet lemonade. Uh-oh. Poison gas. Do I have antidotes? I should. Oh yeah, that's still disabled. So use a confused ray. Ow, ow. I always thought it would be interesting, um, if, if, because psychic, if the entire idea that psychic types are good against poison types is due to, through intense mental meditation, it's said that you could purge all poisons from your body, you know. I'm done for! Done like a done sparse. I do have antidotes, good. For that matter, I'm gonna switch up who's in first to, uh, 
I didn't mean to go to stats, I meant to switch you over here. Hello. I also studied the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninjas have a long history of using animals. They actually do. That's actually quite true. But as I was saying... Hi, Tamer. I don't remember ever seeing that sprite. Hi, Arbok. Been a while since I've seen one of you. Um... Anyway, I thought it would be interesting if a Pokémon was poisoned, if they made a move that when a Pokémon was poisoned, um, using a Psychic-type move on him would be super effective, or a specific Psychic-type move would be super effective. Oh! Why did I choose Scratch? I meant to go for Slash! Oh, you missed. Okay, Slash. Anyway, what do you guys think? That, I just think that'd be an interesting move to combine a psychic, uh, either give a psychic type poison type moves or moves that can poison, or just make a move that like swift. Yes, we are going to get rid of Scratch. <laughs> swift is the only move in this generation that cannot miss. Every other move, even the ones with a hundred accuracy. Um, have a um, percentage chance of missing. I think I've already mentioned that previously, but it's just a good reminder. And somebody keeps texting me, and I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, still have much to learn. Oh, like because he was talking about um how they use animals. Let's fight you over here. Stop right there. Our invisible walls have you frustrated? No, not really. I mean, I can kind of see where they are. I don't, once again, I don't know whether that's just because it's on the, it's on the emulator or whether that was intended so that you can see them if you look close enough. I really hate the move Confuse Ray, but I like using it because it's sort of revenge. Feels like revenge. Oh, you fool. Hypnosis. Ah, dang it. I just realized, if Sandslash has a ground-type move, that could actually be bad. I don't think it actually learns any ground-type moves outside of TMs. That's another thing. I really wish that, um... Some trainers would actually have different movesets on their Pokémon due to teaching it different TMs. Sort of like how gym trainers do that. Shabak. For that matter, I really like, um, Glare. That's the move Arbok learns. Just the idea. <laughs> it's so scary when it glares at you. It's kind of the same thing with Leer. But just paralyzed with fear. I think they need to give more Pokemon player. I think it's an interesting concept move. There's quite a lot of Pokemon I could see it being fitting for. Wow, he got it! Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? I don't know how to answer that. Uh, technically, I... Scotland and stuff, but... This is proof of concept. See? <laughs> that was that's funny that I tried to use that move. But yeah, that's the proof of concept. Ghost type moves do not affect psychic types. For that matter, I probably shouldn't be using the poison type haunter versus the psychic type. With Druid. You see that's interesting. That Maybe it's because it didn't have any moves that could actually affect me. But I like it when they switch it up. Um, let's send out Veronica. Veronica! That's interesting. Sir! Whoa. 
That was an interesting animation. I've never seen that before. I don't know why you were switching it up. I mean, is that just in his AI pattern? The specific guy who's switching it up? Or was it legitimately due to, um... <laughs> you didn't even disable me for one turn! Well, technically he did. I couldn't select the move that was disabled. Quick attack. This is what you get for trying to disable quick attack. You get quick attack. Aha! Level 37! Trying to learn tail. What kind of a bullcrap move is this? Why the heck would I want to learn tail whip at this point in time? Drop my balls! Where there's light, there is shadow. Light and shadow, which do you choose? Is that Koga? That's supposed to be Koga. Did I fight this guy right here? I'm gonna go around and check. But first... Ah, uh, we'll leave. You guys be at the front. For that matter, if I do any other Nuzlocke challenges, I want you guys to tell me, honestly. Do you want me just to include the interesting parts? Aha, I didn't fight you. Let's see you beat my special techniques. Because I think... Personally, when I watch Nuzlocke, a lot of times I don't want to watch them fight every single trainer, or do every single little thing, as much as I just want to see... Like... I, I don't know. The point is here, I feel like I could just do cuts, like, edit... Hi! Um... You're trying to catch me off guard when I'm talking, aren't you? What are you doing? Are you dumb? I don't understand what he's doing here. But anyway, the point is, I feel like... Because this is going to be episode 31 right here. And seeing how much longer of the series I, I mean, of the game I have, it might be over 50 parts, which is quite a task in watching all of the episodes. So I'm trying to kind of figure out whether, if I do like a Pokemon Silver or Gold run through, if I would just want to put in the best parts and make it like a 20 episode series and cut out a lot of the bullcrap rather than show you all of this, like I'm doing right now. Of course, this is a trainer battle, so I feel like it is slightly more entertaining to watch. But, as I've shown you before, I've kind of sometimes run out of things to say, even against the trainer battles. So anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. You had my balls! And, yeah, I'm gonna abuse the fact it's an emulator. Because I can. If you have a problem with that, go suck an egg or something like that. Uh, let's use fresh water on curry. I think that's good. Koga, we meet at last. Who should I have starting out? Let's have Julia start off the fight. <laughs> a mere child like you dares to challenge me? Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. Koga wants to fight. Sends out a copping. You better not use it. I don't think any of them have explosion except one. His wheezing. Which is the big worry here. Interesting. Fury attack. See, you see, that's something you can do with a gym leader. You can give them Pokemon that, like, ha you've seen before, but give them, like, a different move set than they've seen before. Hi, Muck. That way, it feels more of a challenge unless you're just one-shotting them. Uh, X attack. 
Sam. Uh, more like... Something something... Can't think of anything clever. I feel bad for that. Because I feel like... If I didn't kill it so fast, that would have been a big threat. Trigger Peck is just way too powerful. Level 34! Wheezing. Now this one does no explosion. So that's why we're gonna pull out Cassidy. <laughs> Cause no. I don't think he's... I mean, there's just a chance he will use it. Confuse Ray. Yes, it is my little... Doesn't affect Cassidy! Woohoo! There goes your strongest guy! Uh, I should have fought you a bit sooner, but still. Hm, you have proven your worth. <laughs> Here, take the Soul Badge. Now that you have the Soul Badge, the defense of your Pokémon increases. It also lets you surf outside a battle. Ah, take this too. TM06. It contains Toxic. It is the secret technique over 400 years old. And all it does is badly poison a Pokémon. Which, if you have Leech Seed, comes from the same damage counter. Meaning, if you taught it to a Venusaur with Leech Seed, you can actually rack up a bunch of damage. So with that... Now we got the Soul Badge! We also... have the Super Rod. So I'm gonna use the Super Rod and see if I can catch anything here. Well, I know I can catch something here. Oh, it's a Bite. But let's see what it is. A Goldeen. I like Goldeens. It's level 15. Uh... Julia. Uh... Stun Spore. And, uh... That's one of the reasons I like Goldeen. They have a flying type move. Let's use a Great Ball to try to catch this. Yay! We caught Golding, so we have a backup water type. Ahem. Its tail fin billows like an elegant ballroom dress, giving it the nickname of the Water Queen. And then it becomes a Sea King. You want to give a nick- Oh crap, I should have given it a nickname! Transfer to Bale's PC. Now let's fight this guy. Oh yeah, we have to wake him up first. Um, for that matter, let's... should we use, um... to, uh, fight this guy, because he's kind of in the way. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's use Cassidy. And we don't have the po Oh, well, yeah, we hit the Poke Clue. Grumpy Rage! Oh, that's no likes. Confuse Ray, ha ha! I don't think going to sleep um, heals confusion. Just saying. I could even force it to sleep with hypnosis. I'm gonna try it. Ha 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 ha! But you don't heal. <laughs> Nightshade. Wow. Of course, it has quite an HP barrier in the way. Nothing a few good nightshades won't take care of. Fast asleep. And even when it wakes up, it'll be confused. But I don't think it's going to wake up because it's dead. I mean, it goes back to the mountains. Calm down with a big yawn and return to the mountains. Ugh, he beat the shit out of me, but I don't care. I... I'd rather be working. Oh, I haven't fought these guys? Oh, uh, I, I guess I'm gonna do that. Hi, Bollywag. 
But actually, I'm going to cut it and just go to where I'm supposed to be. And we're back. We're going to right above um, Lavender Town, and we're going to go to the power plant to see if we can catch an electric-type Pokemon. I've actually never heard this tune, because once again, I never got this far in this generation. Anyway, there we go. Hello. Wow, are you a Pokemaniac too? Want to see my collection? Oh! I guess we're fighting this guy. Pokemaniac wants to fight. Sends out a Rhyhorn. That ain't good for my... Charmeleon. But let's see what happens. After all, I don't think... Ow. Okay, I don't think Rhyhorn actually knows any rock or ground type moves. In this generation. Yeah, we ain't keeping you out. Uh, the best choice would be to send out Veronica. Which, of course, I changed my team up, so I wouldn't immediately kill anything I ran into in here. But not only that, but... Well, we don't want to over-level our guys, do we? Oh, I level 29. Uh, Lickitung. Uh... What's in our Grantina verbs? No. Let's try out Tristan. Or Tristan. Also no stomp. Okay, never mind. Let, let's just go straight for Grantina. Forgot how powerful Lickitung's are. I feel like Lickitung is one I don't really like the evolution of in later gens. Yeah, Licky Licky. Oh gosh, it's a tank. Oh, it's probably because it used Defense Curl, duh. But still, um, I just, I just don't like Licky Licky. I mean, I, I know a lot of people don't like Licky Licky, but it's like, I like Lickitung, it's weird. It's also weird that level 30, I also find it weird that, um, I'm not angry, $15. Ah, uh, Lickitung can't learn Lick. Put Ethan in front. Let's see what we run into. Technically, I could try to catch Zapdos here, but without repels, I doubt I could actually make it all the way to Zapdos without running into something first. Like this! Pikachu! I didn't even I didn't even know they appeared in this game. I was thinking I was gonna get a Voltorb or a Magnemite. That is interesting. I thought they only appeared in Viridian Forest. Apparently I was wrong. Um... Poison Sting will probably kill it, so I'm just gonna switch out to Grantina. Let the poison start to whittle it down. Ha. Um, I'm just gonna use Harden. I guess I could speed this up. That's good enough. Let's use a great ball. Yay, I caught it. Several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity could build and cause lightning storms. Do you want to give a nickname? Sure, um... Crap, I, I don't know what I want to name it. Crap. Uh... How about... be a female. Yeah, Jewel. I think I spelled that right. Let's just go around here seeing what else we can get.
Oh. That is a Voltorb. I guess, uh... I kinda wanted a Voltorb. Level 40? What the crap? Um... Oh. I wish I had caught this. Sorry, got a bit distracted there. It, it exploded. Not surprising. But actually, I'm going to end the episode here. I think that's about right. And next time, we're going back to Saffron City. Until then, see ya. Later.